Hello everyone, welcome back to Viral Banda. This is Ali Shahis Khan. Guys, in today's guide, I'm going to show you how to port TWRP recovery, the latest version of TWRP recovery, to any Qualcomm device or Snapdragon device without any problems. From now on, you don't have to brainstorm your mind to port custom TWRP recoveries to your devices. It doesn't matter which Qualcomm version, which Snapdragon version you are having, but you can port your TWRP recovery to your device. So guys, let me start now. So guys, I do not own this guide. I have uh, seen a post on XG developers website and I have just done the same thing which were written in that guide. So I am giving the link to the guide in the description. Just go to the guide and all credits goes to the developer. Ok guys, now first of all, search about your device for which device you want to port the TWRP recovery. You just have to know the screen resolution of your device and your device should have a Qualcomm based CPU, Snapdragon CPU doesn't matter which version of Qualcomm Snapdragon but it should have a Snapdragon CPU ok guys now I'm using Asus Zenfone Z010D in this guide so I just get to know the screen resolution of it so for best results go to GSM Arena website and search for your device it is having the correct information about your screen resolution so let me go to the GSM Arena and guys as uh, you can see it is GSM Arena and I'm having a screen resolution of 720 into 1020 sorry 720 into 1280 so guys I'm going to use this so after getting the screen resolution of the device go to this guide I'm giving the link in description and uh, according to the screen resolution download the TWRP recovery from the links given in the guide so uh, this is my recovery I'm going to download this one so I'm going to download from primary America servers click on it and download the latest 3.3.0 recovery currently 2019 April 3.3.0 is the latest recovery so just download the .img file of the TWRP recovery so I'm going to download it and after the download is complete I will continue to the guide so guys after downloading TWRP recovery.img uh, you just have to also download the Carly image kitchen for development Okay guys, download Carly Image Kitchen from the link in description and extract it on your desktop or somewhere else wherever you want to extract it. Okay guys, after extracting Carly Image Kitchen, just paste your TWRP recovery.img and recovery resources folder of Carly Image Kitchen. And also paste the stock recovery of your device into the same folder. Or if you are having an older version of TWRP recovery of your device, then paste it into the same folder and rename it as TWRP ASUS or TWRP stock, whatever you want to rename it. After pasting both of the stock and port recovery into the recovery resource folder, just double click on carlib and run it. It will open a command window here and just type R for recovery, type R and hit enter. After that select your recovery that you want to extract. So TWRP ASUS.IMG is on number 1. Type 1 and hit enter. And then again type 1 and hit enter to unpack the image. It will start unpacking the image. It will just take about 10 to 15 seconds. So just wait for 10 to 15 seconds and it will extract all of your recovery data. So guys it's done. And guys we have to do the same for the TWRP port.IMG. So just go back and then type number 2 this time for TWRP port.IMG and then type 1 and hit enter to unpack this image also and again wait for 10 to 15 seconds to extract after you extract both of the images then you will get two different folders in Carly folder uh, one is your recovery port IMG and second is recovery stock so just uh, open both folders in different windows so guys on the left side we are having the stock folder of our TWRP and on the right side we are having port folder so guys from stock folder uh, move this ramdisk.img kernel to port folder and replace it now move to the ramdisk folder in port folder then delete the selected files that I am going to select so guys select these files together select uneven d.rc file and similar to that select fstep.qcom file and similar to that files ok guys select all of the fstep files and uh, look for other files that I am going to select uh, just delete these files first so I've deleted this and also delete the default file and then move to the remdis folder in stock file stock folder then select the same files and move them to the port folder remdisk so select these and also select the file context file okay guys select all of these and move to the port folder port remdis folder and replace anything if it is uh, showing to replace now move to the etc folder of both of the um, port and stock folders 
there you will get two files twrp.fstab and recovery.fstab and if you don't get twrp.fstab in stock folder then just replace recovery.fstab from stock to port and then open twrp.fstab and recovery.fstab in port folder in any text editor so just compare these two files and paste same from recovery.fstab to twrp.fstab you just have to change the mount points here so you can see this is uh, twrp.fstab this is recovery.fstab so just uh, compare both of these files and make changes in twrp.fstab files according to recovery.fstab files so here we have to change system data cache recovery usb otg boot misc and everything else in twrp.fstab file After editing twrp.fstab just save this file and then just move back to the folders. Guys that's all we have to do to port our twrp recovery to our device. So we have successfully ported the twrp recovery. Now guys to make sure that the recovery we have ported is working I, I will just change some of the images inside the twrp recovery such as the splash logo which comes at the first boot of twrp recovery. So I will change these two things these two logos in the twrp recovery i will replace this with the edited ones i have already made two custom images for splash logo and splash title so i will just replace with these okay now replace this one and this one so guys as you can see the viral banda logo i have pasted here i have changed the logo of twrp recovery so that let us know that it is working correctly okay guys now we have done our work the recovery has been ported successfully we have edited the images also now we are just going to repack the image we just have to repack the image into .img file so again go back and uh, first of all let us check that the image is in the same folder um, yes okay so this is the recovery and it is it is having the name port recovery so just go back and repack the image so type 2 hit enter and then repack type 2 to repack ok guys repacking is started now let it repack again into img file ok guys so it's going to be done and it's done so guys we have successfully ported the recovery and the recovery should be in the output folder here uh, go back to the output folder and here you can see recovery uh, port twrp recovery port so this is the port recovery that we have ported now uh, let me flash this recovery to my device and let's check that if it is working or not okay guys now i have flashed the recovery to my device now i'm going to boot into the recovery mode so okay now guys as you can see the viral banda logo has just come so we have successfully ported the twrp recovery to my device and this is the latest version of TWRP recovery. This is version 3.3.3 something. 3.3.0.0. So guys, this is the guide how to put TWRP recovery. If you like my work, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and if you find any problem then comment down. Okay guys, thank you.